Just in time, I saw a tiny cave in the hillside. I dove in and covered the door with a big rock. Phew! I was just in time. Outside, I could hear the skeleton clawing at the rock. I thought I was lucky to be safe in that cave, but I wasn't. I was in worse trouble than ever. I had stumbled into the cave of the Warty Witch. But that's another story. Too terrible to tell. Please tell me, Grandpa. Very well. I don't mind if I do. And I will if you will just turn the page. The Cave of the Warty Witch. It was so dark in the cave that I had to feel my face to see if it was still there. Suddenly, a big fiery eye flicked open. And another. And another. And another. Until at least a dozen evil yellow eyes were staring at me. Something hard and furry crawled up my leg. I screamed and jumped and stomped down on someone's foot. Ouch, you clumsy beast! A bony hand slapped my face and scratched my cheek. Chills ran up my spine. Was it another skeleton? Suddenly the cave filled with light. There, nose to nose, staring into my eyes, was a witch. She was a mean-looking, fearsome witch, with a witch's hat, a witch's hair, and a long, sharp witch's nose covered with warts. And those eyes, witch's eyes, brr, like slits of fire. She limped around on her sore foot, squealing at me. Did you see that, children? This beast broke into our happy home and almost broke my foot. What shall we do with him? I looked around the cave, but I didn't see any children. It was filled with spiders. Huge, sticky, furry spiders with big, squishy mouths full of teeth. They squeaked and leaped about, nipping at my legs and my ears. <laughs> they want you to be a spider. Spider like them. Once they were children, until they broke into my home just as you did. Now they are my spider family. And in a jiffy, you will be too. She pulled a wishbone from her filthy clothes, struck my head with it, and squealed. Bone of wishes, listen to me. Make this boy a spider when I count three. One, two, three. Spock. In a flash, I could feel myself changing. My body swelled up and my teeth grew long and sharp. My arms disappeared and hairy legs sprouted out all over me. The old witch led me to a mirror. I hardly dared to look. When I did, I saw a fearful, hairy spider. It was me. I looked exactly like my new brothers and sisters. Now, spin me a nice, strong web. I want to take a nap. But I don't know how, I squeaked. Then you had better learn fast! Screeched the witch, and she beat me with her broom. Whack! 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 No, it hurt. She almost broke my back. I tried to hide, but the other spiders wouldn't let me. And before I knew it, I was spinning a web. I don't know how I did it. I suppose it is something all spiders know how to do without going to a web school. When the web was finished, the witch climbed in and she fell fast asleep. The spider slept on the floor. So did I. I couldn't sleep, though. I kept thinking about being a spider for the rest of my life. Crawling around this cold, dark cave eating bugs and flies. It made me cry. Suddenly, through my tears, I saw the witch's arm hanging from her cobweb bed. The wishbone was in her hand. I grabbed it and said, Bone of wishes, listen to me. Make this spider a boy when I count three. One, two, three. Splock. I was a boy again, and I ran deep into the cave. Behind, I could hear squirrels and clicking claws as the spiders scuttled after me. In the nick of time, I saw a hole at the end of the cave. I dove in. It was too small. My body stuck tight while my legs dangled in the cave. I shut my eyes, waiting for a big spider mouth to bite them off. Then a hand grabbed my hair and pulled me out of the cave. Oh my, that was close, I panted. You saved my life. It was so dark and stormy that I couldn't see who had yanked me from the cave. Then, 
By the next flash of lightning, I saw that it was nobody. Just a big, cold, bony hand with nobody. I got goosebumps. The hand squeezed me tight and soared off into the storm. I didn't care. I was so tired and wet and cold that I didn't care what was going to happen next. What did happen, Grandpa? Worse things. Terrible things. Tell me about them, Grandpa, please. Very well. I don't mind if I do. And I will if you'll just turn the page. 